humiliate and degrade you and try to destroy your spirit and resolve. With only a brief respite, it's time for your interrogation ordeal to begin. The first stages you're likely to encounter are known as TQ. TQ, or tactical questioning, is the initial brutal interrogation phase. A local commander will attempt to extract information from you. At the same time, he's making a decision on whether or not you're a candidate for further questioning by interrogation experts at a more secure facility. I try and be the grey man, not too aggressive and not too submissive. Under the Geneva Convention, I only have to give this guy four details. Number, rank, name, date of birth. But what you've got to do is keep your mind alert, say the big four, appear submissive, not too submissive, not too aggressive, grey man. Let him think he's on top of you, but he's not, because mentally you're still very, very alert. Name. Rank. Look up, Edward. Edward, look up, Edward. Name, rank and number, Edward. Name, rank and number! Stone. Two four double nine eight six zero nine. What's your unit, Edward? to try to play the sympathy card with your captors. Always exaggerate your injuries. You're trying to look fatigued, in pain, and weak. Would you like some water, Edward? Always take any chance to eat or drink when it's right in front of you. You're not being submissive. You're just trying to survive. Put it back in the table. Is that nice, Edward? Do you want another drink, Edward? Edward, all you have to say is yes. Even saying a simple yes could have far-reaching consequences. If you answer yes to a question, it can get edited in on a tape recorder and it can be, do you like Saddam Hussein? I'll fill the yes in. Do you like Tony Blair? I'll fill the no in. So at all times, you only answer your big four, number, rank, name, date of birth. Cigarette, Edward. Simply answer yes. It's yours. This is not normal British Army issue, is it, Edward? Only special forces use this. You special forces, Edward? Are you? I think you're a spy, Edward. The Red Cross parcel, Edward. Sign here, I'll give it to you. Like you, I'm a military man. I'm trying to make things easy. Simply sign the paper, Edward, and you can have it. It goes without saying that under no circumstances should you sign anything. Once they've got your signature, it could be used for all kinds of propaganda. Pay attention. It's been very difficult, Edward. Perhaps we should try another method. Do you want to be dead, Stone? <coughs> Never underestimate your importance as a new captive. If they wanted you dead, you probably already would be. The chances are that they are under strict orders to keep you alive until a professional interrogation can begin. Until then, they will take it in turns to interrogate you and your fellow captives, playing one against the other in a constant barrage of questioning and abuse. Show me on the map where the target was. Do you want to drink, Peter? Yes or no, do you want to drink, Peter? What's this for, Peter? Guards! Between interrogation sessions, you will probably undergo unrelenting softening up techniques day and night. You'll be deprived of food, water, and sleep. They'll use sudden shocks, constant loud white noise, anything that will disorientate your mind, weaken your resolve, 
and deprive you of your senses. Worst of all is the dreaded stress position. The technique of using stress positions is simple but highly effective in softening up captives. When forced to remain in these positions, your muscles soon start to seize up. It becomes agony after an hour and torturous after several. But eventually you get used to it and you can't sleep as I have done in these positions. You have to. It's the only way you survive. I told you the general's location, Stone. <coughs> Write down the name Stone, and you'll be free. They'll stop beating you, Stone. I think you're SAS, Stone. I think you've been sent here to assassinate... 24-09-6998. Unit? Stone. Unit Stone. <coughs> How did you insert Stone? Helicopter? <coughs> Parachute. Did any local sell you stone? Are you married, Stone? <coughs> Do you want your wife to be a widow, Stone? Guards! These initial interrogations are often no more than crude, brutal beatings with no real game plan. You're merely being softened up for the next stage at enemy headquarters where professional interrogators will have already been briefed on your capture and be preparing their insidious tactics. 